Okay, for this one I'm going to show you how to bring in another clip, but I'm also going to show you the significance of the overwrite and the uh, splice in. So the first thing I'm doing, because I'm going to go back to A1 and A2, is I want to make sure that the corresponding monitors are going to A1 or A2. Alright, so just for ha-has, all right, I'm just going to bring this up a little bit. All right, uh, I'm going to go to my video again. I am going to go, I guess, to medium one. All right. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as last time. There we go. I moved in by 12. And then, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, and then I'll just do 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And then 1, 2, and then mark out. All right. So I've got the medium clip ready to go. And if I were to drag this into the timeline right now, and leave it where I wanted it. You'll notice that because the red arrow is active, it's an overwrite. All right. So that means that everything else that I had inside of uh, wide one has now been replaced by uh, medium one. All right. If I didn't want to do that, all right. If I wanted to do a splice in, I'm going to use Control Z or Command Z. All right. If I wanted to do a splice in, and I'll show you what a splice in is in just a moment, all right? If I decide I want to use splice in instead of overwrite, all right? And then I bring this in, what it's going to do is, you can already see, it's going to basically come in right where I left uh, the marker inside of uh, the timeline, but effectively it's bifurcating or cutting wide one into two parts so wide one is here and then medium one its entirety is here and then wide one the rest of it is over here so this is the awkwardness that I have created all right uh, let's say that you didn't want to do that all right uh, let's command Z all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this over to the very end of the clip. All right, and you can tell that it's the end of the clip because we have our L. All right, which means if I were to take uh, what I have from medium one and bring it here, it's perfect. All right, uh, basically what I've done is I have wide one and then I have medium one. And also at the very end, You'll notice that there are no artifacts or, you know, frames from uh, frames from uh, uh, wide one. If you're not exact, what could happen, and this is why, again, using the scale bar is a great idea. All right. So let's say that our scale was like here. All right. I'm just going to move this back by one frame and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I'm not exact in what I am doing, what's going to happen is, here, I'll show you. Uh, basically, because I was not exact, you barely see it, but it's there. You have the artifact. All right, you have basically one frame that has been off, uh, orphaned uh, from wide one at the very end of uh, medium one. All right. So again, in order to avoid that, what you want to do is you want to use the scale bar to make sure that you're actually at the very end of your clip and you want to look for the L. That way, you know, it's OK to bring your clip in and you're not going to have any weird artifacts or anything else like that at the end. All right. So that's pretty much it for uh, splice in and overwrite. All right. And uh, I got to show transitions next.